How's everybody doing? This is Yanko Maceda, founder of Tabanero Cigars, where we believe in the enjoyment of craftsmanship that allows you to stop time, reflect on life, and plan the future ahead. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. I have a special woman in my life here with me today, and I uh, will allow her to introduce herself in a, in a couple of minutes. But today is about mothers. Today is about mothers. This is a man's world, but we wouldn't be anything without the love of a woman. And uh, there's three really important women in my life, and I think we should do a chron chronological order. Grandma, my grandma Caridad, she's been an amazing woman that has helped to shape the man I am today, and she gave birth to my mother. <laughs> so she has a lot of credit of the person who I am today. My mother an amazing, an amazing woman. She's the one who always uh, uh, makes sure, I guess because of the reading, uh, reading that she did through her younger life, to make me understand uh, to dream big, to dream as, as, as big as I, I could, that dreams will come through. So my mother's been someone to who really impact my life and the man who I am today. And the uh, third woman that allows me to stay in earth, be vibrant, uh, be hungry for life, my wife, Lorena Maceda. Please introduce yourself. <laughs> Leo, I think some of you have met me, um, Lorena Maceda. I, um, I get to be the lucky woman to call this amazing man's wife. Um, so happy Mother's Day to the mothers out there. I hope you're having a great day and you are being celebrated the way you should. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, share a little bit with uh, our client. What is it that you do? What is it that you do that keeps me so interesting about your professional life? What do you do that I really admire how you do it and how good you are at what you do? So share with them what is it that you do in Tampa, Florida. I'm a full-time real estate agent with Century 21 Beggins. I do residential and commercial. I have been licensed, believe it or not, since 2005. My experience started in Orlando and um, I stopped for a little bit when I moved to Tampa. And I have been on again since 2017. Um, January 3rd, I think it was my anniversary with Beggins. So it's been a little over five years and I absolutely love it. You guys have to understand that having this man in my life um, as, as an inspiration has been you know, amazing. And it's kept me going as well. And my amazing kids. <laughs> and she learns really fast. So I have to be careful because she learns really fast. It's an amazing uh, opportunity that I would like to take to thank every woman that somehow they touch our life. Uh, when I'm in Nicaragua, you've seen the stories, you've seen the post of the Galera where they make all the cigars. How many women are working in the cigar factory? It's amazing. Uh, there's no way for a man to do a better finish, to do a better, higher quality applying wrapper into a cigar than a woman. I guess God give them hands, give them a, a touch of a woman that we can imitate. They've been trying hard to imitate a woman, but I guess God give them original touch, things that there's no way to uh, replicate. So thank you. Thank you to all the mothers, all the women in Nicaragua. They do an amazing job for us to enjoy amazing cigars amazing cigars and I try it every time I go to Nicaragua my first day in Nicaragua doesn't matter how big of my to-do list I always make sure that the first day is to go each department of the factory and say hello to everyone and especially women even the ladies who do the cleaning they do a great job maintaining the factory really clean I make sure to say hello, ask them how they doing, how's the family doing, because everybody does a big part for this end product 
in Nicaragua, Esteli, and here, Tampa, Florida. I wanted to say Happy Mother's Day to a woman, a really special woman in my life, who has allowed me to conquer all their horizons that they were forbidden. I couldn't, if, be, if it wouldn't be because of my wife and this woman, I don't think I'll be able to fly to Nicaragua and many other countries that I go and leave everything behind at ease. Be really trustful trust that everything is gonna be fine here. And that is Karen Lozano, which is now Karen Sewell. And I wanna give him a shout out because uh, she had really good news that pretty soon she will see her kids right here in the US. So Karen, we love you. We're really happy for you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Karencita, happy Mother's Day. <laughs> you know you're part of our family. I'm going to light up my cigar. Please, something that has always intrigued me and I never get tired of asking you. How is the transition of being a single woman, of dating, and then becoming a mom? How is that transition? Yeah. Well, you probably, well, he's, we've had this conversation many times, but um, it was one of those things that I never thought it was going to come. I, I kind of had the idea of, of not becoming a mom. And it was because I hadn't met the right person. Um, it was easy for me to say then, just because I didn't have uh, uh, the men that I have now around my, you know, my life. So it wasn't about settling. It wasn't about doing the what we what you were supposed to do. No, no. I I knew I was I love my kids to death, and I will do anything for them. But if I didn't have them, I think it would have been okay. There was a lot of women who don't have kids, and and it's okay. I mean, we're I guess we're Gracias, we're made to believe that. Um, in order for us to complete what we're meant to do in life, we, we have to procreate, and don't get me wrong, I think there's a lot of women who shouldn't procreate <laughs> that do. But um, in my case, it was just, I didn't have, and I, I, I knew that it was not a matter of me saying, oh, I'm 27, let's go ahead and have a kid. It was just, I don't have the right person, I don't have the means, the way, to do it right now, so I'm not gonna do it. And then I met you, <laughs> and you made it possible. And I said, I don't think uh, I was also planning to stay with Sebastian Maceda. And I said, I don't think this is such a beautiful woman, good hearted, I'm gonna just leave him with our kids. I said, I'll, I, we'll do two kids. <laughs> Santiago Maceda and Valentina Maceda. They're a handful, a handful. Well, I they guess. take after me. Woo! The amount of I energy guess. those kids have, my lord. I remember visiting Colombia in the beginning of a relation, and I saw her. I saw her uh, one nephew. My niece and nephew. Niece and nephew. And what I have in the back of my head was, God, I hope I don't have kids like this for her. <laughs> little yeah. did he know I used to be the same way when I was little. <laughs> Oh my God, I was so used to Sebastián Maceda, kind of like me, really, um, uh, very laid back kid, very laid back, yeah, not a lot of noise, not, uh, I, I, I thought that the next two was going to be the same thing, oh my God, completely opposite, completely opposite, my they have so much start, energy, yeah. my kids, our kids start at, up here, and they end the day up here, regardless of what you have them do. They go to sports four times a, a week and they still have energy at the end of the day. Mommy, where are we going next? What are we gonna do? <laughs> so sometimes when he spends time with us on Sunday morning before he comes here to do the live, he just, it's noon and he's already exhausted. Like, I, I, I can't do this. I don't, I have to go to work. It's like, it feels like a, a time off when he's here <laughs> just because of how much energy these two kids have so we are first generation right here in the u.s in tampa florida so we work hard we we try to learn as much as we can and we trying to not make it easier we're trying to prepare our next generation so 
they have a better way to find purpose. We're not making it easier for our kids. We're preparing our kids to be able to recognize their purpose in life a lot easier than us. We have no mentors, we have nobody to say, this is what you're looking for, this is what you need to do. So guys, thank you very much. Now, Wena, before you say goodbye, we are missing the, to congratulate um, our, the, well, the mem our member of the family, the member of the family who happens to be a new mommy. And this is her oh first my year's, God, my her sister. first year's Mother's Day. My sister-in-law, my amazing Flaquita. Happy Mother's Day to you, my love. Enjoy it with that beautiful princess of yours. We love you. Uh, my kids, you know, she's such an amazing aunt and she's my daughter's, our daughter's godmother and has always been present to um, all the milestones. Oh and my God. We love you, mi Flaki. We wish you the best. Thank you, thank you. Happy Mother's Day to you and a mi suegrita, la abuelita, a mi familia en Colombia, todo el mundo. Feliz um, Día de las Madres para ustedes. And a mi suegra, a mi suegra, felicidades. <laughs> y mi flaca, es, es, tan, es tan nueva esa sobrina. Que <laughs> but I love, I love, I love my, my new niece. And we'll be there pretty soon to hug you guys and to say Happy Mother's Day. Guys, remember the only reason why we are in Earth is to serve others. And we serve you guys with the best of us. Remember to relax, enjoy craftsmanship, and plan the future ahead. Thank you very much. Sweetheart. Thank you for having me.